Love the way the game starts by zooming in like this. Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler and welcome back to Manor Lords, where we have a bandit camp to take out. That guy right there popped in last time. Yep. So, in order to do that, we need more manpower. We need to get our town growing. We're running? We're running. And one thing I want to change first is I was editing last episode. That one bugged me. I want to try something a little bit different here. I know it's just kind of, uh, you know, paying too much attention to the little details, but they haven't started building these yet, so I'm not going to affect anything. So I think I want to... Uh, Call the uh, the engineer, the architect, back in and say, "I think you can do that better." <laughs> but this road, I think, is the issue. Let's see, R for roads, and hold down the Alt. There we go. Let's shape him just a little bit differently. What was that noise? It always seems to be a a roaring noise of some event that happened as soon as I get into building mode. If I take you in closer to here. I don't know that we're going to keep the road. It's mostly there just to contain the the perimeter. A, another bandit camp? Another bandit camp. Aha. Uh -huh. So we have this one and that one. If we can... Six, oh, I'm this way. Okay. So if I can successfully take out these guys, we'll just continue with the pathway and take them out as well. I think that's the plan. Anyway... Let's hit H, and remember last time I was mentioning this first leg of the burgage plots, or I think most anything, determines the orientation that it's going to, uh, to, going to land on. So if I were to take you further, then click and move in, the orientation changes over there because this is now part of the initial setup so now we can go diagonal at that end so yeah you do have a lot of flexibility here but what I want to do well I wish this little message here was more transparent I want to see my pointer I think it's there there and somewhere like that okay and minus and minus I wanted that backyard. I wanted that industry, the potential. And I do like the ability to add more houses in later. So I think we'll stick with the slightly wider plots. Let's go with that one. And you, I want you definitely up and running as fast as possible. So very high, highest, and high. So we're working on these first. So where is everyone? We have two families out building. Let's kind of take a uh, oh an, an appraisal of what we're up against. A, a census, maybe. Is that the right word? Who is nobody and nobody? Hmm. I know we have somebody out here because we haven't been hunting for a while. And we unfortunately had filled up the storage and I didn't realize it. So I lost a couple months of potential berries coming in. Which is unfortunate. Berries sell for, I think, three each in the traders. So that kind of makes for a, a quick little easy first trade route and it's a free one too so in case i forget to point this out later some things you have to pay for in order to send out the the major trades the minor trades it's already a free run you don't have to spend the six to get uh berries going no, it's 18 to get berries going but you can just simply say export and off you go but right with 64 berries i don't know that i want to let any of these leave I'm not sure about that if these fill up and wherever the next bank of houses are i want to get some some uh, serious housing in next probably before the tavern the new update that will be arriving someday will affect the tavern will affect trade so i'm going to stay away from the trade points over here until i know what that really means we did take the sheep breeding one so that gives me a great thing to dive into next once we get some housing going. But we've got some, a family over there. We do not have a family here. We do. We don't need them anymore. Except that they're running our food stall. But we... Berries... Seasonal. Well, it says seasonal, but there's still berries there. There is still berries there. 
Okay. Well, then let's get a second family temporarily into the granary and see if we can get some of these unloaded so that these folks can gather the last of those berries. I thought that when it, the seasonal message popped up last time that that meant the berries just turned off. But, you know, the harvest uh, harvest season is over, I think is what it said. But we still have 34 or 36, so they are still gathering. So I guess we have until snowfall. They're just, they're no longer adding to the berry deposit. But let's see, you guys are where? Right in here. There's the berries. Why couldn't I see that last time when we wandered through here? Those little red raspberries, it looks like. Mmm. He's mumbling to himself. <laughs> I never talk to myself. <laughs> so, I wonder if it only showed the bush that he was working at at the moment. Because I don't see any others. It's these. Okay, there's berries right there. Here they are. I see. Okay. But we're into November. And when I was counting houses last episode, I mistakenly counted this as a house. We actually are full. We've got seven and we've got seven. So, yep, yeah, we're, we're hurting right now. We need to get a house going. So I do want to keep more people building how do I do that I can't take them out of the forager like I thought I could and we really need these up and running though we have enough to get by with what we're doing right now um, I don't want to just speed the game up and have time you know get the house built that way that's not the point that the point is I want as little time to go by as possible before I can get to 20 so I can get moving out there we don't want a third bandit camp to show up all of a sudden now when I do clear out the foragers um, hut, I assume it's called. The granary will also have food. Hopefully they'll move back in and take over the food stall. They're the ones that set it up originally. So I got rid of them and fired up the forager's hut and they moved in. So they do kind of swap around like that, which is nice. Um, until then, what? I guess it's just kind of a waiting game. There was a suggestion of moving the tanner to somewhere else because this is a great spot for the tavern. And I do agree with that. I do like the church at this end and the tavern at this end. Both ends of the of the Y's, the split into our boulevard here. So that's a possibility, but since I'm not going to be dealing with the tavern for a couple of episodes anyway, um, until the, the update comes out, I guess it's not that critical. We'll just have to remember that we suggested that. So, one of two livestock, Endris lives here. And we got two more over here. No, we have another one being built. On a... No, he are built. Right, ready to fill up. Okay. So we'll put a couple of horses in here when we really get to the trading going. That's going to be a while. But this stable over here does have... Tommen living in in that one. Okay. At this point, it seems a little extreme being so far away from each other from what's happening. But eventually, I can see getting another stable probably in here and and deselecting all of the oxen and have you know, reselect and hopefully the closest one will will uh, be uh, associated with the different buildings. We are doing what? We're still waiting. How do we get one more family to help build? Where do we steal them from? How's the storehouse doing? How's the firewood doing? Firewood, there we go. We've, we've raided a lot of firewood. And we don't have any hides left. Is there anything else that goes in the storehouse? Uh, planks, which weren't an issue. And leathers. There's, they're probably a long way away from filling up their storage. Not as long as I thought, but still, I think that's fine. So, yeah, let's grab this family here. Oh, there's no family there. Man, everywhere I go, I'm, I'm hitting dead ends. I need a family, and I don't want to raid that. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Firewood is in good shape, and when I rehire them, they should just reclaim their old stall. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's get another family working there. I don't want to touch food. And I do want 20 these guys to empty this building out as soon as possible. We've got a little bit of cushion there now. 
let's go one more round so let's see who is where you guys are just you're just showing up perfect so 36 drops to 35 it's one per trip oh man yeah now the ox and plow will make the farming harvesting more efficient in that it'll bring large quantities back to the farm building I don't know if there is such a system for our normal folks doing their jobs. I don't think they're going to just grab an ox and go make a trip to the forager's hut. So that probably isn't there. There is a, let's see, I want to say administration now. Where industry logistics pack station. So when we get more provinces going, we'll be able to barter using the pack station. And we'll get a mule for that one. And they'll bring, let's see, it says up to 20 goods per trip. So mules to go from province to province. I wonder if eventually we'll get some kind of a of a, uh, of a a mule or some kind of a, of a system for transporting goods within the town. Now, when we do get sheep going, it tends to attach one sheep to a person who will follow that person around like a pet. So maybe we can get uh, some pack sheep going at some point. That'd be fun. Now Bartholomew's here. He's using a cart to transport meat. That's interesting. He is a granary worker. I wonder if the granary only has one cart. Only allotted one cart. And so everyone else carries by hand. That's interesting. I wonder if he is allowed to go for berries or if it's just because this is a heavier item. Look at down here. Skinning and gutting. Got our campfire going. Loading up. I love the animations in a game like this. He's going to get multiples too. Nice. So when this is emptied. Oh, that's right. The camp here had a lot of meat. We got a hide in there now. So two left. So I'm comfortable with turning off the one family in the granary. Now that that is done, how are we doing here? We had quite a few walking over, down to 34 out of 50, and berries left, 27 out of 64. That might be enough cushion to work through the rest of this season. We got snow coming here real soon. And that'll get another family in here to start start. Uh, Boy, it'd be nice to get that done before. Where am I? Though if I turn off a granary worker now, or family now, I wonder if these trips aren't going to make it in. Well, let's do it anyway. General, turn you down. Get somebody over here to help out here. Need a house in place before that switches to December, or we're going to miss another round of, of uh, immigration. So, 76%. We could actually qualify for two at this point. We're past the 75 mark. Well, while we're waiting for this house to build, we'll wander around the, uh, around the village. We're going to get this guy assembled. And let's go look at the different types of houses, different uh, models. We've got the one with the lean-to on the end that we've seen, this yellow one in front of us. This one does not, and the roof's different too. So, oh, and, and there's a wobble fence in here. That's nice to see. It isn't all pickets, which isn't as, oh, probably as fitting for the era as the wattle fence. Hello. Wattle fence would have been more of a peasant fence for, what is this, 14, 1500s? Whatever this game is set in. But there is another style of, of house there. Look at the peg sticking out. Sticking out of the joinery. Where they, uh, they attach the boards. Yeah, look at that. Carved in, set the, the board in, rammed a, a peg through, and that's your nail system. That is, uh, that's how they built them. Clay walls are out here. Yep, looks good. Do we have a house yet? We have a house. I'm working on the next one. Great. Do we have a... We're still in November. Good. And 79%. We are racking up the points now. Good to see. Get this one built, and this one's already being started. She was just shoveling on it. Uh, click on it. 
No, it doesn't count yet. Although this one doesn't either, and I know they were working on it, so that must just be the percentage of the uh, of the materials that they have that they have assembled, not the initial clearing of the plot. Rain starting. And it's December. The church bells will ring whenever the month, month switches. No winds this time, so not a lightning storm. Just a peaceful rain. This ought to switch to snow. In fact, it's getting quieter, isn't it? I think it is getting quieter. It ought to switch to snow here real soon. Um, do we get a new family? No, just new mercenaries. Now, we were close to 80. There it is. Moving in. We immediately lost all that upper list of benefits, so that dropped us down to 68. So I don't know if that 75 plus, or in our case, I think it was 79 or so, counts toward two families per month when it immediately switches back below the 75 mark. Don't know how that works. I've never actually seen that second family come in. It doesn't it send you two at the beginning. Maybe it sends another one in the middle of the month, and I've never really paid attention to the dates. But that two families per month promise, I've never actually witnessed. Um, so the other family member just joins. This one is full now. How quickly does it register here? It does not yet. So this family, people, kind of interesting. It doesn't show that other person yet. Family member joined. Still here. But we only have three showing. So there are delays in there. I don't believe they are... Yeah, they're not like they're still walking to the house or something. Interesting. So don't get too excited to see the results when you get a message that a new family is here. So we... Oh, still at 14. I'm Now it triggered. Okay, that was a several day delay. Interesting. I guess simulating them getting to town. Okay. So building this one and these two are going to be very similar. So I'm seeing two housing models. I guess that's what I wanted to point out last time and got distracted. Yeah, we got a different end on this one than that one. Okay. So that's three housing models. Got a different opening in the thatch here. There's the snow. Yeah. So at least three different models so far. Okay. I still, I'm so thankful that we've got leather, the leather. the exit at the back of the plot here. So that would justify putting in a road back here if we chose to. Now this road here that I did put in, do we keep it or not? I guess we could. I was going to just, you know, leave it there to to give us the ability to more easily place these things, but... Yeah, I think that can stay. Now, do we road through here? I don't know. I don't know. I'll make that decision. If we did road over here, which is now going to be the back end of all of these. And we could put these in. We could put these in next. I think we've gone far enough away. Yeah, let's put these in next. And then these. And then we'll slowly start to upgrade these as we go. Because we do need to get in some tier 2 plots to, what do we need? We need two of them in order to get into our uh, our next point. Though that does require a tavern? Let me think about that. Um, storehouse. No, we are ready to go for tier two. Tier three will require a tavern and a stone church. So the church will upgrade once we've got ceiling or uh, roof tiles in from our clay. Which is why, and we're going to need 20 more stone, which is why I wanted to get all these little mining setups going we're not going to concentrate on them yet but we've got the ability to walk over there and grab some some clay and and uh, fire up a uh, what do we call that building that would be an industry right there that is the clay furnace okay versus the bloomery for the the iron which then gets what does the smithy do versus okay so the bloomery makes our iron slabs or ingots or what have you. This one turns it into tools, which I don't believe factor into the game yet. I think they are just something to sell. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I have I have run artisan blacksmiths 
and the tool count stay the same. Though, in reality, in most series, the tools are the first thing that bandits steal. <laughs> they love your tools. Did you get finished? You did not. We are mostly there. Um, military count is still at 14. So, this house does not have versus this one has shields and and spears this one is still working on that where are these people uh people and you're still resting at home okay so in time so that's four families we'll leave them out of the system so they can immediately go and uh, continue help build houses and you guys are still in here berries are officially gone so we will pull you out of there and we still have a family in the granary. We do. We'll let these guys run the stall now. And let them draw the rest of the berries out of here throughout the winter. How are we doing over here? We've got six pantries. That's food. That's meat. And we've got three of the hides. Though this count, has, every time I've looked at it, has been different. They must be counting one that is on its way in. Another hide. You guys skinning something? You are skinning something, so there's another hide about to uh, be placed into the system. Did I see somebody out over there? thought I saw someone walking. Uh, peoples, crafting, transporting. Whoa, that was wild. I pulled back a little, and it, uh, it, it, sent, me, it sent me to the moon. <laughs> okay, we're done looking at the hunters. <laughs> So you guys are just about ready to finish this one up. Another couple of pounds and... Yeah, there's... There it is. You only see this in certain positions. There it is. So you guys pound away. Hit the... They speed you up and shut you down. And we're good. Another burgage plot is done. Perfect. Alright, so that gives us the potential for that second person. Second family in December. Since we were above 75 when it hit. We at least have a place to move into if it does it, say, at the, the mid-month mark. I'm not sure how that works. And we are just one point away of getting back to that point right now. So, maybe you guys keep an eye on what's going on up here. So, our bandit camps. Let's go take another peek at them. Where is the... There's one. Pop in over here. We've got 16 bandits here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15... And there's one more that I missed someplace. He's in there somewhere. But there are 16 bandits. They spend all their time training and growling. Kind of fun. Sit here and pretend you're one of them. In fact, can I do that here? Uh, there you are. Boy, sent me a long way away. Now, I'm invisible to them. They, they won't even react to my presence. But this makes for a great distraction. Walking through the snow, looking sideways as we walk. Okay, so let's go see what these guys are made of. I wish that I had the ability to jump into a battle with my troops. That would be interesting. Um, Noble Fates, I think, allows you to do that. It seems like there's another game out there that also lets you drop in and become a character in the game. Forest Village, I think, is what I was thinking of. Yeah, Life is Feudal Forest Village. That lets you drop into your game and and uh, become part of it. Now, where am I? I'm kind of lost over here. I'm up in the corner. There we go. So, we got to go play with those guys. And there was this one over here, which is what we'll hit first. So, same sort of setup. That wasn't the same one, right? We were off to the edge. They just both happened to be in a snowy clearing. A lot of times they'll spawn right into the forest and you've really got to search to see them. Still lightly snowing out there. And we have officially nine houses built. Nine houses or nine plots? I'm curious about that. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. One, two, three. F yeah, that, that one is always going to throw me. Let's turn this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it does count this as part of the nine. So we're talking about houses, not uh, not plots. All right. So nine homes and eight resources stolen. They stole our berries. Oh, and they also stole some uh, some leather. Aha. 
don't know which one that is. The one that the game registers has taken it. When we take them down, we'll get a lot of that back. And it'll be the same resources, same numbers. But speaking of, we are still at 14. We're not registering this family even yet. Interesting. So there is a delay. I wonder if it's the next month when it shows up. Hmm. I'll have to wait and see. This one is getting there. And we're still at eight families. So we'll see when that ninth family moves in. And there it is. A new family just started moving in. We're middle of the month. So that's when it happens. Good. I had not actually taken note of that before. So mid-month, if you had had... Well, though we do have 75 now. So maybe it was related to the previous month being over 75. Maybe it was not. Maybe if you are above 75 at mid-month, it will just give it to you. Hmm. Okay. Still not certain. But either way, it helped. And 14 still. Okay. So don't quite get that one and the other family member joined. Alrighty. So when we get to January, maybe both of these will trigger, which will put us at 18, unfortunately. Yeah. 18 is not enough. I mean, you can do it. You will win, but you will lose family members. And you will lose your future worker base. They're not coming back. Although I say that... I did notice when I was in that practice game that I had lost several and I came back and I did not find any homes with less than three people. So it's like it compensated for the people, but you did lose the weapons. So that's kind of a gray area right now. We'll see how that mechanic adjusts in time as the game develops, how they decide to deal with that sort of a thing. I would like to see families and children and marrying off and, and getting houses, just like Ostrov. So that when you lose someone, you really lose someone. And, you know, hardships in that sense. And maybe, you know, down to one person left, only the mom is left, and she remarries and moves in, and the house goes vacant, and another family moves in or something. There's got to be some more realistic ways to deal with that, that situation, because war is real here. And the consequences are real. So they should be. How are we doing over here? Well, this one is done. Okay. No, it isn't. Still halfway built. I saw the full circle there. So we're still working on that one. I did switch these guys to a higher priority to make sure they didn't go work on that one instead. And I do know that when we attack these bandits, and they're not too far away, if we were to pull them back into our land... Go over there and trigger them and then run back. We would get a... Can I see it here? I can. When you're, when you're sitting in this mode, when they are... Um, let's see, click. When they have been rallied and they're off and going, you'll get a... Kind of like this. A plus and minus system of their morale and of their, their effectiveness. Essentially their energy, how exhausted they are. And how skilled they are. You'll get a, uh, a bonus for being experienced if this troop has been in battle before. But you also get a, a huge bonus for being on your home ground, your home turf. So any battles that you can have within your own province will give you a huge boost. I might do that for the first one so they, we, we take no losses and then walk them out there to the second one, essentially as if it was their very first battle. But they will have the bonus of experience on their... Uh, on their record at that point. I kind of like that. But with six families, officially, well, the six is there, but I guess unofficially, because some of them are still... No, these no, these guys are still resting at home. And are these guys up and running yet? We've got people... No, they're actually constructing. Okay. So we're one family down. We're five families are actually building. We might get a third house done this month. That would be nice. So this one did fill. We actually would be good if it did so that we get a family just as we switch over to the month. So with this many families building, there's a good chance we're going to pull that off. There it is. Boy, it looks cold out there. There's our shrine, our market. And I wish that I walked as fast as they did. 
Why do games do that? I know Skyrim, that was so frustrating with that one. He had to mod the game in order to walk at the speed of the NPCs. So, they walk faster or I have to run, walk, run, walk to, to catch up with them. But we can certainly enjoy the scenery here. It's interesting how, well, they won't recognize the log as an obstacle, but it, at least he waited for the ox to go by before he walked around. So they do recognize each other's presence. But look at this, walking through a medieval village. It feels like you're actually doing it. I wonder if we could almost smell the outhouse there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta run again. But we are still in December, waiting for some some noise to happen to tell me I've missed a message. Look at the ladders. Oh, interesting, I've not noticed those before. We got some supplies sitting in the back. And a ladder to get up on the roof. This guy's carrying a wooden mallet. Got snow on his on his uh, clothing. Old broken barrel over there. Let's walk through the waddle fence here. I need some gates. Yeah, that barrel's kind of falling apart there. So it was like, hmm. No, not like they've been building barrels. Just some old stuff sitting around. It's kind of like a bundle of wool, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. And yeah, we could store something under there. That, that effectively works. She dropped off the log that she was carrying. It took us that long to get over here. Working on the next property. Um, I wonder if these folks are home yet. I'm over here and knock on the door. Can we see inside? We can see a structure, but it's not... I don't think it's representing the people in there. Don't see anybody. Still in December, and that third house is looking like it's going to go up here pretty soon. And still at 14. I'm really thinking it is a transition at the beginning of the next month when it reevaluates the number of uh, a population capable of joining the militia. In which case, it would sure be nice. Well, no, we're not going to get a third family in. So we'll have more houses, won't have more people. So we'll be, at, yeah, we'll be at 18. And I just noticed our first traveling merchant. Do I get to pass over you and get a message? I don't. So he... Let me pop into this mode. There we go. Howdy! Got his walking stick, got his basket. <laughs> Looks like a weapon on the back end. As well as his frying pan. That could be like an axe or a hatchet. Yeah. Interesting. Look at the hat too. Hangs off to one side. Oh, I guess mine does as well, huh? <laughs> okay, she's bringing her firewood in. That looks like a heavy load. Oh, we pass over into January during that. Yeah, and another family. Right over here. Okay, well, it's happening. So what happened to our military? 14! What am I missing here? We haven't gained since family number 7. We're at 9 now. Or mercenary companies. So let's click here, do that. I don't want to rally because it'll disturb everybody. They'll all have to collect and they'll all have to go back to work again. So I. Well, if I remove unit and then reset it, they're probably going to all have to go and gather their supplies once again, too. Best to just leave it alone, but we are at 18 soldiers essentially. We just have to make the game understand that. So, what happens after this? And this is a month I really wanted to go to battle. Um, just realized I was hearing that bell ringing. It had said January long before. So, and, and another one? Okay, that's actually kind of wild. Being in this mode apparently kind of messes with things when, when, when you go through a transition. It seems like it gave us an extra family. Hmm. Interesting. So, and it, when you get out of that mode, it really throws you a long way away from where you were. Last time when I was in that mode, I got, we were walking over here watching her bring her firewood, and I clicked out of it, and I landed way out over there. 
I had to work my way back in before I started recording again. So that part's a little bit unpredictable. And more families join. And construction finished. And 19. Oh, I need 20. Come on, give me the 20. Give me the 20. And we will go and start to make our, our trip. Though I may just wait a little while and try and see if it, uh, if it pulls it in anyway by forcing them to rally. That could be it. So... <clears throat> We've got the manor to put up in place of the tavern. We won't deal with the tavern just yet, but the manor needs to go in, which will need stone. So I think we're finally to the point that we can maybe start allocating some of these families to do other things. Food-wise, where are we at? Seven months of fuel. It's probably time to get you guys back into here and at least one family in there and get our, our wood stall manned again. Though you're not saying abandoned. Interesting. I thought that it would. There's nobody in storage. Storage. There we go. So they're not running it. Hmm. Anyway, the new houses do need to go and collect their goods. So it would be good to have a... a uh, see, you are new. You do not have a fuel supply. Actually, none of them do at this point because of that. So once that is manned again, then all those ticks will... We'll, uh, we'll complete. So, food-wise, we're doing fine, of course. We'll do a hit over here. 33 meat, one vegetable, and 68 berries. So, bread is officially gone, and we are officially pulling vegetables out of here. So, any sense of that? Uh, general, got a pantry here with a vegetable. We've got eight shields and six spears. Explain that one. Still two families. We are at 19. And I really want to pull this off. So let's go ahead and rally that and see what happens. See if. We've switched over to... Okay. Everyone's grabbing their weapons. Still of 19 though. Still of 19. So I'm going to shut them down. Disband. There's 20. We hit. Rally. Okay, force the game to recalculate itself. We are in place now, and they're all going to, uh, to gradually move into this space and, and running out of the houses, grabbing their their equipment and getting ready for whatever threat it is that the the Lord of the Manor, the future Manor, has declared. They will default to a running stance. Running will exhaust them. So unless it is really an emergency, like you're being attacked yourself, your own your own town, flip that off. Let's move them over toward. What we want to do is trigger these guys to come back. Let's go here first. So right click and hold. One direction, you can see how you can change the way they're facing. So we'll move them so, such like that and let them get on their way. Now... This means that we have 20 less abled bodies working in the town. So be aware of that. This is a lot more realistic than, than uh, typical games in that now very little is going to get done. You do that during harvest season and you're not going to bring the harvest in or you're going to bring very little of it in. So just be aware of timing on things like this. But... The critical need to get houses built. This is the last one, and residing families, none. So we are one house ahead. The ladies can haul logs over and pound on the ground and make this one happen. So that is possible. So we could continue to build without them, and I'm not going to speed the game up and watch them walk all the way over there. We've got more... Uh, more town issues to deal with while they're gone. We do need to get logs coming in again. So, need to get that fired up. Need to get that fired up. The manor is going to require planks. In the system, we have six timber and one plank. So, we've got some catching up there to do. Um, what else do we need? We don't need any forges at the moment. Our meat supply is rolling in just fine. 33. So, we don't need that going on. Um... As far as new buildings go, I think I'm going to go with housing yet a little bit more. Get more houses in. I don't know if I want to double up on these 
or if I want to, I think I want to start dropping more plots in. So, with the six logs that we have, seven, five, five. What just built? Maybe someone just dragged a log down there to a uh, to a mining pit or something. Don't know. Something just built. Uh, one more well. Speaking of wells, when I was putting this well in, I meant to also put one in over here. So that we've got them in multiple places. Let's take a look at that. So let's kind of catch up with all the the little stuff, town stuff like that while we're waiting for our, our troops to walk over there. Residential and wells are right there. Oh, it's hard to see the aquifers now in the snow. We do have the ability to drop a well over here. We can drop a well in this area. We already have one here somewhere. Right there, right there, right there right there so we're four wells into it already so it's just a matter of running distance when there is a fire in town that's that's really where we're up against so a well in this corner would be good as well as <laughs> maybe one more little market either here or over here i think this corner would be another market so let's well right around this area and we are within an aquifer and Rotation doesn't really matter. The graphic is going to look good whether running this road or running this road. So let's... I need to shift it, didn't it? Ah, we're still snap two. Okay. We'll shift you. Now, why are we having trouble getting that to... There it is. Okay. Let's do that. You're going there. And one more market will eventually go over here. But I think the next market I put in is going to be central and or extending this one a little bit. We have one stall over here, one, probably two more stalls over here. One another three or four in this area. And I don't know what other buildings going into here. Maybe the game will someday add de decor or decorations and maybe something else will go into there instead. How are we doing over here? We are aiming for this space. Let's take a look at, at, uh, at their situation. Click on them. We are moving downhill so we got a plus two to our effectiveness. And let me move around there. Cohesion. That was hard to see when I was in the trees. Cohesion is negative 14%. I'm not sure what cohesion means uh, in, in their sense. How well they're willing to work with each other. Um, not sure. But we'll get more information here as they get further in. If I were to run them, we would get an exhaustion that's starting to work into there too. So let's move them. If we get too close, they will trigger and come at us. As you saw, we're going downhill plus 2%. We want to be uphill. So that they're running uphill, getting a negative 6%, negative 8%, negative 10%, depending on the grade. So this would have been the, a really good place to attack them. But I do want it on our own home turf. If we can pull it off this this first time, I'd like to see that. I'd like to demonstrate that. So let's get you guys walking in to here and see if we can trigger these if that's close enough to have them come at us. Then I think we will pull back, still at a walk, and I guess get to back right over here. So that they're walking uphill that last leg. And if we were to do it over here... It'd be less of an extreme for them. We need to get them further down than further up. Now that's just getting too far away. Hmm. I guess it's going to have to be over here. Okay. We'll let them go over that that uh, pass over there and and uh, get into position. See if that triggers the enemies to come at us. Otherwise, now this is something that drove me nuts. My my playthrough, my practice game. I would normally right click to get out of whatever mode I'm in. <clears throat> right click for them, repositions them and sends them back over here. You don't know how many times I had to pause the game, run over there, reposition them, left click to get out of it or just hit right here. And then I wouldn't affect them anymore. That, yeah, games that do things different than other games can sometimes just drive me bonkers. So we are doing what over here? We were talking about the manor, but we are stone away from doing that. 20 stone and 20 planks, I believe. Let's peek that real quick. You are administrative at 15 stone and 
20 planks. So we've been, and five uh, timber. We have less than five timber now, so you guys have been doing your thing. And the update I see will change a lot of how the saw pit works. I hear it'll allow you to store more logs in place. Right now there is a sense of a construction reserve, meaning we can say of these three timbers, three of them are reserved for the saw pit, so don't use them to build things. If I were to click three here. At first when I saw that, I thought that meant they would bring three over and reserve them right there. That's what I wish had happened, and apparently that's what we're going to see with the update. So the saw pit will start working a lot better. When they get close enough, these guys will trigger, they'll form their own line, their own group, and come at us. So where are we? Right here. This would have been a great place for a battle for us. So we will do that. And we could, just to speed things up a little bit, run them to this point. We will see fatigue starting to build up. Fatigue, negative two. Now running downhill isn't an issue. So we're going to, you know, plus eight is going to definitely overwhelm the negative three. I want them to go far enough. So trigger you to there to get these guys... Where am I? Oh, I'm over here. So as they get closer, ah, we've already rallied them. Okay. So let's send our guys not at a run, if we can, to over here. And we'll, we'll run this battle at this point. Let's set them two deep. I don't know if there's an advantage to two deep versus one. I don't know the, the, the strategic tactics involved there. It will also cause their guys to condense down and only 10 at a time will be attacking our 10. Though there may be some overlap around the corners, but you'll tend to see a few of their guys hanging back because there isn't a space for them. But let's turn our run off and see just how this goes. So you guys are gonna walk your way back through the snow. You're going uphill right now, so fatigue is no longer going to combine or increase because we're no longer running. But we do have the climb and the uh, you know, to, to go against us. These guys are doing what? Are they running toward us? They are walking as well, so they're trying to maintain their their uh, fatigue as well. So they're going to walk toward us. We're going to get over here. We're going to be so far ahead of them. We're going to sit down and just rest, and we'll be at our peak efficiency by the time that happens. Is there much more to be doing here? We've got five. We have nothing being built. That is an issue. So what should we be doing? Let's set somebody into the storehouse, get things moving. Let's construction finished another burgage plot. Let's light. Oh, so we were building. Oh, good. Okay. So I think we just finished that one. Let's set out some more burgage plots if we can. Logs, four. So there, you guys, that one. We can set two. I think it's two per. Yeah, it's two per. Um, let's think about that. Let's put some singles in. That should be two singles right there. What am I doing wrong here? You oh I've got I've managed to hit that twice. Okay. So there's a single. There's two singles. Take you straight in. There's not singles. Okay, minus. That gives us two doubles. Let's go with the two doubles here. I know that the the brewer benefits greatly from having a helper in that that uh, artisan profession so there's a candidate for that one i'm not sure what the second one would be i know that shields are not they will make shields faster than you can possibly make planks so i would want a single for shields but let's set you and give them something to build while we're seeing what's happening over here yeah we've got a ways to go good so two plots over there. We're out of timber, so not much more we can set up, but we'll give these four families something to do. What else can we do? Generic storage is full. That is that. Okay. What else can we do as far as bringing in, giving these families some work? So you, yeah, two in there. I don't think there's any advantage to two anywhere else right now. And we could be bringing in some stone. Let's do that. Stone camp over there, and we will have you employed to bring the stone to here. And eventually we probably should upgrade 
this guy, but it will take 10 of our planks away from our manor. All right, so how are we doing over here? I am going to speed this up now because our peoples back home are not sitting idle and doing nothing. But I am starting to get a rather large um, file, a video file. I've been running for over an hour. Though I've edited quite a bit of it out for you guys, so it'll be less than an hour for you. But I don't want to deal with too large of a video file. That very first episode of this series stuttered badly at the end. The second video didn't. It worked great. The third video worked great. I didn't do anything different in between. So I still don't know what caused that. The only major difference is that it was a much bigger file. So it's possible that has something to do with it. I don't know. But when we get into position here and the get ready to run their attack I'll slow it down and we will explore this we'll pause it a few times and and see it from different angles and, and see what's happening here but you guys are coming in slow this down we have different stances we can give ground which gradually backs us off which has an interesting effect it causes these guys to try to follow and a lot of them will stagger and stay behind few of them will be battling but it does put us at a disadvantage too i have seen our own troops die in that move otherwise missile alert when these guys when you're going, coming up against an enemy that has archers these guys will spend more time watching the skies than watching the melee attacks coming in so missile alert will decrease by half our melee defense so each of these has benefits and uh, and negatives though balanced has no penalties just but also no bonuses. And then we have stand your ground. So our defense is doubled, but we'll attack half as often. That's the one I tend to go for. It protects our guys, but it makes the battle last a little longer. And push forward is, I believe our defenses will decrease. Our attacks will increase, and it'll add kind of a, an anti-morale against these guys. And uh, we'll set ourselves for stand your ground. So they will do more holding their shields up than lunging forward with their spears. Oh, the camera shakes. Love that part of this game. So we've got one person over here not fighting because he can't find a place to get in because we are more densely packed. He's, oh, he is in there. Okay. They've got 16 and 98% effectiveness. We're at 76% effectiveness already. We're dropping quick. Why is that? Our cohesion is dropping. Can we see that for these guys? If I click... No, if I click, I think I'll send them into it. So I don't want to do that. Huh, I'm trying to gather information and learn about how best to do this. They're down to 13 already. We're still at 20. They're down to 12. At some point, we get down to like 8 or 9. If I were to push forward, they would just give up. They would run. They would feel overwhelmed. Down to 9, down to 8... Push forward, attack, and influence is gained. They are giving up. They are running. They're leaving. So we are unfortunately quite a ways away. We're still at 20. We're still at 20. So injuries aren't a thing. You're either dead or you're alive is kind of how it looks at it. We've got bodies in the snow. We, on, we are on our own land. So these bodies will now count against us. Let me pause for a moment here because I want to go do something else. Um... They'll count against us. Do they count us here? It would be nice to see uh, population growth as well as morale of militia rallied from the settlement. Oh, so 85, 86% adds to our morale. I forgot to notice that. I'll have to go back in, in the video or, and notice it. What the morale was. There we go. In home region, plus 90. Experience, plus 25. So that's all of our morale. Corpses are near, minus 20. So, corpses are a problem. Otherwise, our fatigue and our cohesion down there. Okay. So, we will need a corpse pit. I'll probably put that in next episode. And down here is probably a good place. It's likely where we will see a lot of our in-home battles. I can't zoom out any further. Oh, interesting. I'm hitting a, a ceiling because we're in troop mode. Aha. So, before we shut this one down, let's race you guys. Well... Race, is that the right word? I think it is. I think we can do that. You guys, let's run to here. And actually run them right into that camp. We can rest them on their way to this camp. 
or even a third one if it pops in. It's been a while since the second one popped in. But I think we can, just for the sake of getting this done, run balanced. And as they're running, they're... Are we running? Oh, I guess I have to unpause it. So as we are running, um, we'll see things change in their stats down below as their fatigue and downhill and uphill and what have you so we will tire them out you don't want to run to a battle but we can run to this goal clean out the camp show that mechanic and then they will walk to the next camp can i see you guys on the horizon doesn't look like i can we've got to get closer to fade it in right over there and we'll rest them on their way over to take that that camp out and possibly even a third camp if it, uh, if it pops in before we're done. But we've still got 20 able-bodied soldiers. And you can see the effect of us dropping fast. You can see why you don't want to run to a battle. Unless you're going to run to the battle, then sit there and rest for a while. We're still over here. We've got a long way to go. We do need a corpse pit. Now let's go ahead and get that set. And Because I don't think it takes any right there. Yeah, it doesn't take any logs. So where do we want newcomers <clears throat> to come onto our land and say, oh, I don't think we want to attack them. Let's do something. I don't know where the opening is, but I think over here next to this open, uh, well, no, there is the that issue. Yeah, I don't know if the negative 20 is going to affect our workers over there closer to here the crossroads oh there's an ominous sign right there at the crossroads yeah let's pivot you how let's see spin my map around too many buttons right now now yeah, i think it's this way i see it moves as you spin because of the contour of the land let's just pop you in right there and you will eventually get done then we'll We'll assign a family to this, and they'll have the horrible job of hauling the bodies to the corpse pit. Um, medium? Let's kick that up a little bit, and we'll see that happen. Yeah. Though the bodies are far enough away from our town folk to not affect them. So there is that. But let's get these guys over here and grab this, and we'll shut this episode down. It is getting a little bit long. They're going to roll in. They're going to find a lot of the things that were stolen from us. What do these guys look like as they're, as they're running in? Just like so. They have got to be tired. 35% effectiveness. Fatigue of 48% right now. Yeah. Now, if I were to pop in during this, what would happen? Where did I pop in? A long way away. Yeah, I'm not going to get there in time. But they're going to uh, they're going to run into there. As soon as they get there, all the tents will drop. And we will get a letter asking us, what do we want to do with the spoils? So we'll run over here, thank our troops, move the spoils where they need to move. And they are ready for whatever is next. All right, new message. When searching through the enemy's belongings, you find a stash of goods. They could be sent to your people who surely need them, though it is your right to keep as well. With the idea that their money is separate from our money. So send resources to the nearest town or send it to our own personal treasury. We're going to go there. We just gained our 14 firewood and 9 of our, of our uh, leather that was stolen and 154 gold or coins or silver and I've noticed that in time it sends it all over again so I'm assuming that's a bit of a bug and pause right there it does seem to double send it to your town and it's nice I won't turn it away that 169 will buy a lot of chickens so anyway I'm gonna call this one done here get this edited get it uploaded and next time we'll probably start here and move our way into this next uh, where am I this next brigand camp and see what trouble we can get into. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye now.